Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> awesome Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into this here. The first card that came out in your pre-shuffle energy is this Page of Cups, and it came out in reverse. This might sound bad off the off the bat like at the very beginning but I, this this page of cups is representing some sort of emotional immaturity and it i, I kind of feel like it there's it represents some sort of resistance to face your emotions or to face what you've been feeling but with the rest of what has come out here it feels like you're you're leaving this behind you Okay, because what else you have here is you have justice, which is you, Libra, but you have justice with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups, okay? And then you also have strength, death, and the Three of Pentacles, yes, with overall energy being the Three of Cups, okay? So this feels like somebody here is saying enough is enough i'm not going to let my emotions run amok anymore i'm not going to i'm going to stop hiding from my feelings i'm going to stop hiding from taking emotional responsibility because ultimately i feel like this is mainly because you want to be happy so because you want to be happy and you don't want to feel shitty anymore with this five of cups and, and the ten of cups here ultimately you're taking you're bringing justice into your life okay by taming yourself or 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 working on bettering yourself and and in going through this transformation i do feel like this is a conscious choice libra 
Mm -hmm. This is a conscious choice to turn your emotional reality around. And now this three of cups energy is a combination of, as your overall energy here, is a combination between a, a union of body, mind, and spirit, but also a bit of a celebration for you on behalf of the universe, well, from the universe on your behalf, because you've chosen to take this step. I'm hearing you've chosen to take this leap of faith, but this leap of faith, I guess, would be diving into your emotions and finally facing what you've been feeling in terms or in in order to be happy again, to feel fulfillment again. There's also an energy of clearing space that is keeping you blocked from reaching some sort of emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups, and you may have been refusing to look at that for quite some time, Libra. Okay, cool. So with that said, let's get into the rest of your message for the month here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Let's see what we've got for you, Libra. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, we're going to give this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you. <clears throat> One, former Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. What messages do we have for Libra? Two, for the month of December 2019. I feel like this, whatever it is you might be dealing with, Libra 3, might be, it might have to do with family. <clears throat> Certain circumstances with family ties and whatnot, whatever. Four, <clears throat> for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Five. All right, y'all. Let's cut the deck and we'll see what we've got for you, Libra. Okay. Overall energy, the Eight of Wands. Uh, I just heard clear and concise communication. I'm also feeling just a, a clear and open space for you to make some moves, for you, some, for you to do some healing. Okay. I like that. Underneath that, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, but slow and steady wins the race. Now, I am getting an energy. I'm getting a message here for you of the fact that keep in mind that you are either building a new foundation or you're fortifying your foundation, um, reformatting it, uh, working on making it stronger. So this is a step-by-step -step process. This is not something that you really can rush. You definitely don't want to rush this as you're kind of working on rebuilding something that's really what this feels like underneath the knight of pentacles oh yep you've got the tower and then finally oh but you also have the sun libra yes oh my god i love this so I feel like this tower moment is already past. It could be a situation in which by the time you watch this video, the tower moment has already struck. And if that's not the case, then it could be a tower moment that's coming, okay? Um, either way, I feel like you're prepared for it or you already know about it. So even if the tower moment hasn't actually happened yet, I feel like you're aware that it's coming or you know what it's about. And it's almost as if you have an you, you're in an energy of being able to prepare for it with this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Libra. This is a very good thing. Also, the sun, while the sun represents um, happiness, uh, success, fulfillment, and, um, you know, positively just general positivity i also feel like the sun is representing illumination specifically for you here okay libra 
Beautiful. All right. Let's get into the rest of the reading here for you. First half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. You just go with whatever works best for you. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. In the first half of your reading here, you have... There's death again. Transformation. Scorpio energy. We could be dealing with Scorpio energy. This also could be something that happened, transpired over Scorpio season. That's interesting. Death is coupled with the two of pentacles. So yeah, I really do feel like this tower moment has passed for you guys, or it's something that has already happened. Again, of course, it doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. I just feel like you're in this process of keeping your balance, maintaining your balance as you go through this transition, transitional process with death. Um, and also death could be influencing you to rebalance your life. This change, this transformation may be um, influencing you to rebalance your life. Very good. And that's kind of what we were talking about in the pre-shuffle anyway. So, okay, that makes perfect sense. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this could have to do with family. Um, also, a lesson learned. Karmic cycle, karmic lesson completed, potentially. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Hermit. But this really does ring true as mainly a... Um, uh, a karmic cycle completed because it feels like what the hermit is saying here it's like you you you're either ready for a uh, for introspection ready to to uh, let your own light out and shine or you're ready to start looking within and that alone being ready and willing and able to go within is what is was bringing this karmic cycle to an end. Of course there are some actions that you're going to need to take once you start discovering things internally but what was needed to start the closing of this karmic cycle or whatever it is you're experiencing here was, was for you to be willing to go within and start to analyze yourself and understand your internal reality and potentially even start from there, understand how your internal reality is a direct reflection, or I'm sorry, your external reality is a direct reflection of your internal reality. This also could be a situation in which you're starting to realize that in order for your circumstances to change externally, you have to start working internally, which is allowing you or giving you the wherewithal or the or the inspiration to be like, okay, well, I guess I got to start it. I guess I got to start um, handling my emotions or figuring out what it is I'm feeling and maybe why I feel that way. Beautiful. I mean, the only really the only way to heal or change something is to become aware of it. Libra, and that's what this, I was going to say Virgo energy, but it's the hermit, so it represents Virgo, but that's what this hermit energy represents, awareness, awareness of the self, yeah? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Libra, the page of swords, communication. I kind of feel like in the very beginning stages of this cycle or this experience that you're having, you're not necessarily going to know how to communicate effectively. There could be a lack of tact in your communication. But keep in mind, you're new to this. Or at least what it is you would be communicating about is not, you're not really familiar with how to do that. So don't beat yourself up too much about it. Page of Swords is coupled with. Ooh, yeah, there you go, the Two of Swords. Expressing yourself in general, talking about it in general could just be a major challenge for you right now because it may be a situation in which you're well-versed in, in communicating about subjects, about a ton of other subjects, but when it comes to this certain one, you're stumped. And I get kind of get the feeling that what might be holding you back from communicating here is a desire to not sound like an idiot. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the only reason I'm laughing there is because it's like, I totally get it, Libra. <laughs> I totally get it. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your, your reading here, Libra, you have the moon. So you do have the sun and the moon making an appearance here. So even though you have the sun here, Libra, 
in, in your overall energy, you could be heading towards a dark night of the soul. That's what this moon could represent here. But that would just be an element of the excavation, the deep digging, deep diving that you're doing with this hermit energy. You have to go through this process. You will have to go through this process. It is inevitable and unescapable. But you see, this is probably what you've been avoiding all along. I'm getting also that things are going to be revealed here for you throughout this process. The moon is coupled with this. Yep, there you go. The seven of cups. This is you doing that deep diving and focusing on all these elements of all this emotional stuff that you may have been hiding from for a very long time. Yeah. But it's only temporary. You're not going to, no dark night of the soul lasts forever. Trust me. I've had a number of them. They don't last forever. <laughs> okay. And it's absolutely a necessary part of this process for you. Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Libra. First set of surrounding energies for you. The Queen of Cups. Well, there you go. You went from the Page of Cups in your pre-shuffle to now the Queen of Cups. Analyzing your emotions. Taking them into account. Becoming emotionally stable. Emotionally balanced. Aware of your emotions. Part of this, actually, Libra, part of this really could be you coming to terms with or becoming aware of strong empathic ability. Because that's what the Queen of Cups can also represent. Empathy. Empathic nature. Empathic ability. And that could have been what has been plaguing you this whole time. It could have been a situation in which you were refusing to accept that. There could be a fi family dynamic in that sense. I dealt with that personally. Um, there was, there's a little bit of a history of emotional and, and, and mental imbalance in my family. And it was a topic of contention. Nobody said anything about it. Nobody talked about it until I found out that I was part of that part of the, of, of, that little bubble of the family that nobody wanted to talk about. But then once I started exploring it, I found that actually, no, I'm just really, really empathic. And I'm a, basically an energetic sponge. And the external elements uh, and other people's emotions and whatnot and ever and feelings and whatnot and whatever, and even their thoughts sometimes were infiltrating me. And I had no idea. And it was throwing me out of balance. But once I faced it, once, well, first of all, once I was aware it was a problem. But then once I faced it, I was able to get it under control. And I actually, I'm feeling specifically that that could be something that you guys are dealing with here, especially since I was picking up on family elements and you have this 10 of pentacles here. So this could even be a, an ancestral karmic cleansing on behalf of your lineage that you're experiencing here, Libra. The Queen of Cups is coupled with, oh, whoa, the Queen of Wands. So not only are you becoming emotionally stable and, and balanced and healthy, but it looks like you're becoming quite confident. I'm hearing definitely getting your power back or how Stella, like Stella getting her groove back at this, in this situation. Like, yeah, do it, honey. Oh, I like that. Your... Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Libra. The Knight of Cups. I'm feeling this is you allowing yourself or feeling ready and willing to be open-hearted. Maybe for the first time ever in your life or again. Being open, being willing to be open-hearted again was the first thing that came through, but it could be either. But also, this specifically is, I, I, I feel like this is you gaining some sort of confidence to be out in the world again. So if, especially if you are going through an empathic awakening, awakening, you might deal with a moment of isolation. And that's what this hermit energy represents. So actually, I am kind of seeing this as like this part is like the first half of, we'll say the first half of the month. 
and then this part is is in fact the second half of the month if this process only takes the month of december for you for a large amount of you this process is going to extend past december again this is not something that you can rush knight of pentacles okay so this could be a long and arduous journey uh, please don't freak out you've got the support of the universe behind you but i am seeing a progression of this is where you start and this is ultimately where you would be coming to okay first half second half knight of cups is coupled with but there you go. The Six of Swords, leaving the past behind you, being open and willing to basically show yourself again or maybe be out and around public, around people again. Having enough of a defense mechanism or having an enough of an understanding to open up again. Having gone through your healing process and le leaving the past behind, whatever those elements are for you. Beautiful, Libra. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Holy shit, there you are again. Justice. I find that interesting that justice would be your challenge here. Uh, maybe there could be some sort of karmic justice that you might have to deal with. If that's the case, it feels very minor. It doesn't feel like it's anything big. I feel like this is a time aspect, what justice is representing here. Like the amount of time it's going to take for justice to be served, for the scales to be balanced, could be a challenge for you. Justice is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so they're really actually, there also could be some sort of karmic justice, coming to terms with some things, reaping what you've sown, um, but also learning from the contrast. There, there may be some really tough lessons that you might have to work extra hard to come to terms with throughout this process. And what I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles is just, these are just hard truths, hard facts, hard elements of the three-dimensional world. That's all. That's really all it is. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands, in my opinion, as a reader, is a minor arcana version of the Hermit. So your closing message, potential outcome in the second half of your reading is rediscovering yourself, maybe even finding a new creative passion throughout all of this. Beautiful. The Page of Wands is coupled with, okay, the Five of Cups again. But again, this is really is this really is rediscovering yourself. I'm feeling an energy of enthusiasm, re renewed faith, renewed excitement in yourself, in the world around you, seeing the world through different eyes. Um, after dealing with a world of heartbreak and pain and sorrow and guilt and just ick, rediscovering yourself after all of this. Five of Cups energy. Beautiful. Libra, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let's get your oracle guidance, yeah? For the month of December. All right, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of December 2019, what do we what oracle guidance do we have for you, Libra? What oracle guidance do we have for my Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Card number 36, Mayu Soma from the Galactic Heart. Please excuse the noisy street. <laughs> Let's see. Three and six is a nine. Nine is, a, uh, three plus six is nine. Um, and nine represents endings. Beautiful. The Divine Mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. Expansion of your horizons, your spiritual purpose, and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. 
Divine potential within you is awakening at a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. This oracle is prophecy of ascension and grace. Oh my God, Vir Leo, Lib Libra. First I was gonna call you Virgo, then I called you Le Leo, but really you're Libra. Libra, good God, Eric, get it together. <laughs> Sorry guys, okay. In a reading this card says, your soul has been going through a deep spiritual feeding process and is growing rapidly. The evidence of this is, um, I'm sorry, the evidence of this, the evidence of this, good golly, in the outer world will be a sense of expansion of opportunity, reach, connections, and new levels of spiritual experiences. This oracle foretells the welcoming in of a new phase in life. Newborn energies and fertility, whether biological, creative, or psychological, are being stimulated. The oracle indicates the discovery, development, and expression of talents. An increasingly public profile, which moves you into the spotlight, can help you fulfill your divine life mission, provided that you keep your inner connection to spirit as the highest priority. The oracle speaks of soul healing around matters of trust, spirit, mother, and abundance. Oh my goodness, Libra, that is excellent. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Bye.